David Steele. I'm uh, from Arcturus, and we're an Edge AI solutions partner with Synaptics. And we're here today to demonstrate our uh, smart camera software stack running on the SL1680, which is Synaptics' uh, Edge AI platform. And everything here is running uh, on the chip. It's all running local on the SL1680. And what it's doing is it's taking a live video stream from this IP camera and is processing, processing it through our analytics. There's a number of analytics here that function much like you would expect a smart camera or a high-end security camera or an enterprise-grade camera. It's looking for different uh, attributes within the field of view. So loitering, boundary crossing, occupancy, and motionless analytics. And when, it, when one of those uh, incidents occurs, it creates a notification, and then we can view that notification by clicking onto the timeline, which brings up uh, video, and I can play back that video clip. I can scroll the, uh, I can scrub the video. I can look at events. I can even download events from the device. We can also look at uh, all of the st statistics on the device. And all this is running directly on device. That's right. It's running all in the 1680. It's uh, even serving this web page. Uh, and this is just a uh, statistics for the uh, for the, the device itself, and we can just click into show you how it's performing. And then also a full uh, configuration interface to help you set up your smart camera solution. So this allows you to configure the analytics. You can have regions and zones and boundaries and whatever you need to configure and how you want to configure your alarms. And so how, how much performance is there that you can take advantage of? Yeah, there's a ton of performance on this. The really cool thing about this uh, this chip from, from our perspective in a way is uh, the headroom that we have in there. Right now we're only doing one stream. We're using a really cheap IP camera. We could do up to probably about four streams. There's plenty of NPU uh, capacity on this chip, plenty of GPU capacity. We could likely do uh, four camera streams concurrently uh, really without much of a problem using our analytics. And if people have 4K cameras, you can optimize so you don't need to process the whole 4K stream to make it work? Yeah, we don't. In fact, uh, what we do to make it a little bit more efficient from the processing standpoint is we would actually downsample or use a substream, which is lower resolution, which is closer resolution to what the, the NPU, what the neural network will actually require as an input. And that makes it much more efficient as well, which means that we can scale that process on this device. We can still use the 4K video feed and we can overlay those events on top of it. And that kind of gives us the best of both worlds. So is this the cutting edge of edge computing to do stuff with security cameras that are running offline on the camera directly? Yeah, the reason that you want to do this at the edge is uh, it's pretty simple because you want to do the analysis where the data is. And in this case, the data is right at the edge, is right where the camera is. The further away you are from the camera, the increased latency, the more connections you have, the more likelihood of some form of bottleneck is going to occur, some latency or some connection error. So doing this right at the edge and just sending simple notifications or even controlling something right at the edge is really ideal. And we have the processor capabilities to do that today, so there's no reason why you wouldn't. And your company has been working on this kind of technology for a long time? Yeah, we've been, uh, we've been doing AI since probably around uh, 2017, and so we're pretty experienced. Our core expertise is in a couple of areas. Uh, one is doing a fully uh, containerized and dockerized pipeline systems, which this is running, but also in optimizing models for NPUs, um, specifically like this, uh, like this chip. Uh, and also, um, we do analytics, so full systems, where, uh, where we do the comprehensive sort of analysis of, of the, uh, the, the uh, data to provide some output as well. And it's really awesome to have this new kind of hardware that has all the AI built in that you can just take advantage of. Yeah, I would say uh, it's a very different world than it was, uh, you know, in 2017 when we were when edge compute didn't have really didn't couldn't take advantage of the uh, the NPUs that were that uh, just didn't exist at that point. So we were doing uh, GPU technology, we were doing CPU technology, and it was slow and cumbersome. And now, generation over generation, since 2017, it's just gotten better and better. And this is this is really the new generation of the tech. It's a seven tops NPU. It's you know extremely quick. It provides tons of performance.